Good morning, MGTOW men. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you've had a great weekend. I uh, hope you have a good week. Remember, as MGTOW, men going your own way, man. It's up to you. Everything you do, every decision you make, it's up to you to make it good. And you accept full responsibility for everything, including your own happiness. Or, as it were, your own misery. And that's where we get right into the meat and potatoes of this particular video. Women claim they want happiness. They want to be pleased. They want to have a good time. They want pleasure. They want satisfaction. Happiness. Whatever formula in their little heads, they create happiness. Right, that has been, I think, the downfall of our civilization, is women's happiness. Because if they're not happy, and they tell us they're not, then they must be something different. They must be less than. So let's just call them miserable creatures. Because that's how they behave. They're always whining, complaining, moaning. Happy, happy, happy. I want to be happy. And they can't do it for themselves. It's evidenced by the way they speak, by the way they act, by their complaints. My boyfriend doesn't make me happy. My job doesn't make me happy. My car doesn't make me happy. Yada, yada, yada. On and on it goes. Right. Men, we're builders. We build homes. We build cities, roads dams. We build um, not only physical structures, but organizational structures like law and philosophy. We build things that are in harmony with nature so that they work with nature. Because when things work together, coexist, complement and support each other, right, you get natural happiness. <laughs> Nothing quite like an early morning stogie and an early morning coffee. You know, the problem we have here is men have for eons said, we don't understand women. Right? And interspersed, intermixed within there have been cultures that have understood women, but for the most part, men just say, man, I can't figure these girls out. Right? <clears throat> well, they can't either. They don't understand they're responsible for their own happiness. And since they are incapable, basically, of doing anything for themselves, they can't attain happiness. Along that same line of thinking, doing things for them, giving people things, doesn't make them happy either. They can't appreciate it the same way the person who does. For example, the guy that builds homes or roads or uh, philosophical structures social constraints, social parameters, social guidelines. Right? Men build these things and then women have been brought into it. Women still are not happy. Women are miserable creatures. Why? Because men have given them everything they want. Everything. We gave them a cave, then we gave them a hut, then we gave them a small village surrounded by a wall to protect them. We put it near a creek so they have water. We created ways for them to live more comfortably, clothing, fire. We give them the jobs that are less physically demanding because they're less physically capable. That's caveman times. I talk about and I lament constantly how the birth of the industrialized age followed by the combination of technology and industry created refrigeration, air conditioning, heaters, electricity, hot water heaters, right? indoor plumbing, linoleum, 
formica, right? freezers, cooktops, ovens, ceiling fans, insulation and walls, double pane windows. Every invention and innovation along the last hundred years, like automobiles, power windows, power locks, power brakes, power steering, powerful engine, right? fuel injection, turbocharging, supercharging, they're still not happy. Women aren't happy. They are miserable fucking creatures. Look at them. Look at them. All they do is complain. You ask them if they're happy, they go, I'm happy, and then the first thing they'll do is start bitching about something. Or they'll never say they're happy. I'm not happy with, or I could be happier. Always a complaint. Always a criticism. It is a rare woman indeed that you'll find that doesn't have something to complain about in the first two minutes of conversation. Try it with them. Unless <clears throat> she's trying to impress you with her social prestige or social status, right? Or keeping up with the Jonesology that she has. That's where I find it just absolutely hilarious. Stand around and listen to a woman complain to one woman about how fucked up things are and then have a rival of hers walk up and have her brag about how good she's got it and how happy she is. Well, that's a social game. Anyways, back to this idea of women's misery. The, the, the source, the fountain from which we derive happiness. Women don't have that. They don't. They are miserable creatures. They pretend, right, to be the fountain of life, right? They give life. They create babies. Right? Oh, they're a vessel for creating and holding uh, eggs, and then eggs fertilized with sperm create a baby that, that uh, develops in their womb, and then they give birth to. And then the mom has to breastfeed the baby, raise the baby while the man provides. That is nature's way. Were it not... For that way, women would be on their own, much like uh, deer, for example. The buck shows up, they have a rut, the dominant male wins, he gets to fuck all the does. The buck runs off and says, take care of it all yourself. Human women aren't like that. They cannot do that. So it has been biologically instilled in us that uh, babies that survive do so because there's a man that is not only dominant and powerful and successful but one that provides for and helps that baby be healthier provides for the mother who cares for the baby as a result they're healthier and they progress it's genetically built into us so don't be upset with yourself as a man because you are inspired driven to create babies and take care of. Where we're fucking up as men is the belief that taking care of them, caring for them, your family if you have one, means that they are going to be happy about it. Right? As men, we're pleased as punch. We're fucking satisfied. Right? Look what I did. Built that house. Built that road. Built that computer system. Fucking manage that store. Run that business. Whatever it is we do. Right? I was hired last year. I've gotten two promotions already and I'm on my way up. I'm kicking ass. We're satisfied with our accomplishments. We set goals and achieve them. We have the mental intellectual capacity and drive to use our strong physical bodies to kick ass and then we come home to someone who's fucking miserable and we want to make them happy so 
look back at the uh, the thumbnail I found for this video. Uh, I had the idea, then I saw the thumbnail, and it all just came together. Mommy, why are you so miserable? Because Daddy gave me everything I wanted. Men, we give women every fucking thing they want. Name it. What do they want? I want to talk to my friends. Have a telephone. I want to talk to my friends while I drive. Have a cell phone. I don't know. Here's the internet. Every piece of information that would be valuable or useful to you, any given day, 24-7, it's on the internet. Go get it. They're still miserable. Our mistake is we blame ourselves. Oof, she's unhappy. She's miserable. It must be because I am lacking. See, men accept responsibility. We always have. We play by the rules. Right? Must be my fault if she's miserable. I'm not working hard enough. I'm not giving her enough. I'm not trying to understand her well enough. Do you think the woman goes through those pains for you? Fuck, no they don't. What they do go through <clears throat> is the pain of understanding how to control you. When they see you as a man scrambling to satisfy them, to please them, to give them what they want. They know they've got you. And they're going to run you through the fucking mill. Now here's where sometimes I get in a, uh, a philosophical discussion with myself. Do they do it on purpose? Or is it their nature? I think I've come to the conclusion it's a little of both. And here's what I mean. They can't be happy. They can't be satisfied, right? It's a rare woman that's content with her lot in life, right? So they can't be happy. It's, 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 it's not your fault. But also, at the same time, they realize that as you try to do this, they can lay the blame on you. They can fuck with you. They can drive you absolutely crazy. They can bring you down to their miserable level by saying, you, you the man, make me happy. I've got to tell you that when I was married, oh yeah, the last year, my ex kept telling me that I need to fix it, meaning everything. Fix it. Fix the marriage, fix the way she feels about things, fix her happiness, all while she drove a brand new fucking car. Right? 3,200 square foot home, 1,100 square foot extra bonus space, 1,600 square foot, three-car garage. Right? Not enough food? Sorry, honey. Two refrigerators and one stand-up freezer. Right? Radiant heating in the floor. Bomb-proof house. 18 arched windows through 16-inch thick walls. Double insulated. Right? Just a fucking bombshell of a palatial Mediterranean manor. Not happy. Granite throughout. Victorian reproduction fixtures. Good God, name it. Even had 1800s French furniture. Just incredible. Nothing could make her happy. Nothing. Why? Because women are miserable. Let's look at what you can do to make a woman happy. You can give her what she wants. You can treat her very well, right? Politeness, even respect, uh, having a good attitude. Right? So you can give the physical and you can give the emotional. And she's still going to be miserable. You can give her too much attention. You can give her not enough attention. No matter what, she's going to find the complaint. So the common denominator here that I want to bring up again is women are miserable. Right? And it's all our fault. <laughs> There's two things.